was there a point? Oh, yeah, I was reading about this fucking nerd. Which, by the way, people, can, can, can nerds go back to being beaten for no fucking reason at all? You know, I, I really can't wait for the backlash on nerds. I've had it with them. I've had it with them embracing the fact that they're awkward to, to the point of pretending to be awkward even when you're not. And just coming up to you and being, hey, I'm awkward. And then leaving all the pressure of the conversation on you. You know, fucking 30, 35 years old walking around acting like some 14-year-old on his first date. You know what? Somebody has that this week. Where the hell is it? The overrated, underrated for the weeks. Uh, overrated dorks. They're taking over and they haven't even done anything cool to earn it. Fuck the office. Dude, I got to be honest with you. I've been saying that for fucking years. My girl loves that show, The Office. All right? And I can't fucking watch it. All right? It's like, can somebody on that show be like, be aware of what they're saying when they're saying it instead of like afterwards, immediately afterwards? You know? I, 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 they're like, they're cartoons. Fucking every goddamn one of those fucking shows. I I can't I can't get into this shit. I can't get into this shit because I'm gonna start trashing shit, and then you can think straight across the board that I don't fucking like anybody in the alt scene. That's not fucking true. But I think I think the alternative comedy scene is like the hair metal scene in late 1989. All right, we're about a year away before Nevermind's gonna come out. And they're all going to be scurrying. And I'm going to, I can't fucking wait because I'm just an old cunty redhead. <laughs> no, I resent, I actually, um, I, I do resent the, the alternative scene for, for one reason only. And that's because that scene created a, a situation that it basically distilled all of the horror out of, Attempting to be a comedian. That's what I don't like about it. Okay? No heckling. No drunks. No obnoxious behavior. No aggressiveness from the... Every, every fucking reason that it takes balls to be a comedian. Every fucking reason why people who wanted to be a comic but never fucking did it. You've removed from that situation. And you've just created like this fucking comedy womb. You know? And, and on the top of that, it's like... You're performing to just this, this, it's like a radio station. It's not even a crowd. It's like what, a fucking radio station. I only perform to hipsters ages 18 to 24 who wear skinny fucking loose jeans and have black framed glasses. It's like, and then if they have to go down to a fucking comedy club, when their jokes don't go over, they, they act like the, the crowd is dumb. Rather than, no, you, you're like a specialist. You're like that guy who plays on the football team and only goes out. Is, you're like the long snapper. You know what I mean? You only can play one fucking position. And you turn around and you're blaming the fucking crowd. I don't know, dude. I, I just, it's, it's, and, and then on top of that, the amount of shots that over the fucking years that they've taken at Club Comics, like we're all a bunch of hacks over there, you know, talking about airplane food. Like they're above us, and then every fucking time oh, I gotta talk to I'm gonna talk to Bobby Kelly about this shit on his podcast. Hopefully this week because we were talking about some of this shit. And anytime, then what happens is right. Then you go to do some benefit, or you go to do some sort of fucking comedy festival, and then they put club comics and alt comics together. And what happens? All those fucking alt comics go on early. You know, one in particular is always fucking trading up. He can't go on early enough, despite the fact his face is all over the fucking posters. And then who's got to mop up in the end two hours into the fucking show? A club comic. You know, oh, those fucking alt comics. And they're all fucking nice to you on those shows. Hey, are you? I'm a real big fan of you fucking. You. Really? Are you? Are you there nervous? Go on second. Go on third and then fucking run out with your book bag, you cunt. Oh, the floodgates have opened. I've had it. I've had it with fucking nerds. I've, 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 I've fucking, I get it. I get it. All right? You're into Comic Con. I get it. And if you're not into Comic Con, then you're fucking stupid. Is that basically what it is? <sighs> cheesecake, baby. It's the cheesecake. 
<laughs> Just for the record, the alt scene was started by Club Comics. All those guys, David Cross, Bob Odenkirk, Dana Gould, Mark Marin, beasts, all of them. All of them. They could perform in, 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 in fucking uh, uh, in off-track betting, and they could have a great set. <laughs> But inadvertently, I think you know what they did. They're almost like rich people who have kids, you know, and they 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 struggled up through all this shit, right? And then they just have these kids, and their first car is like a Maserati, and they wrap it around a pole, and there's like no ramification. That's that that is my my overall generalization of my problem that I have with the alt scene is um, it's it's like uh, it's like stand up comedy while wearing like training wheels, and you never take them off. Okay, Bill, we got it. You've you've made you've 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 made your your fucking one sided argument. Um, all right, there we go. That ought to get some fucking emails. Uh, 